All right, so because of that road change there, we're gonna take a different route. We're just gonna go straight down this road here for about three miles. Let's see if Beta can handle it. This is different than our normal route. So the speed limit here is 30. Um, we're going at 35 currently. Probably gonna have to slow down up ahead. temporary road constructed up ahead. They're doing so much construction that they completely changed the topology of this section of road here and put up a whole bunch of temporary barriers. And if we can follow the path here, it will be very impressive. Let's see. So this is the inner city of New Rochelle. This is the not holding anything back for beta. This would be our complicated section of route here. And we have a pedestrian to avoid and some cones on our left. Very nice. So both of these lanes continue straight. So this big wide lane here opens up to two lanes at the next light. So this left lane is gonna be a left only lane. So we're gonna to have to get over to the right side of the road to continue straight. Let's see how Beta handles that. So this vehicle is making the left. I put on our directional to let the person behind us know we were getting to the right here. Very good. Yep. That works. That's acceptable. All right, so now we're going straight. This is um, a big wide road as well. And make a right into a parking lot up ahead here so we just want to avoid that and continue straight and then we'll actually get some lane markings denoting it's a two-lane street it would have been nice if we stayed away from the back of that vehicle but I'm okay it's all good. And we have to stop for this yellow. Alright, so we got through the harder section of this road here. We might be okay for the rest of our drive. We'll see. We got some good data there about not merging behind turning vehicles.
honestly. One of my main pet peeves with FSD beta currently are these right directionals. It's like if the car is steering right a little bit, sometimes we'll just indicate our right directional. Or if there's a turning lane to the left and we're continuing straight, we'll use our right directional. And those are false indications. Over time, I'm assuming they will get better. I don't have to assume, I know they are. I, I'm seeing them get better. So we're gonna take this right lane here because both lanes continue straight and there's a lot of traffic in this left lane and that left lane also has an option to turn left. That's cool, they got a farmer's market up over here. Have you guys ever learned of um, Thomas Paine in American history? Thomas Paine's cottage is over here somewhere. There's a bunch of parked vehicles over on the right side of the road here. So I'm gonna help out Beta and put us into this left lane. Ooh. See like that Jeep needed to um, use some of our lane there. So I realized what was happening. So I scrolled down on my speed to basically slow down a little bit and give him space to use our lane to navigate around that stopped vehicle. And we don't stop to let people who are breaking traffic laws go right so that person was trying to make a left his left and cross his double yellow line um, you don't stop to wait for those people you don't because that's unsafe so you're putting yourself in an unsafe situation by letting them go So it looks like we'll be making a right turn up ahead in about a half a mile. We're coming up to a red light here. And there's no vehicles parked on the side of the road here, but there will be after this light. I don't really like how this van is driving with his duct taped windows and spray painted sides. Ugh. There's a lot of cars behind us. Let's see how this plays out. Like Beta is trying to indicate to get over to the left, and both of that van and this car decided to not allow that to happen. And now this Nissan Rogue is also trying. Okay, yeah. was about to not let us in as well. And now that we've cleared these parked vehicles, now we're moving back over to the right. that was in a bullet point of a soft software update recently about not exiting those lanes with blockages 
right? Like parked vehicles and just offsetting in the lane rather than exiting the lane. So Beta decided to exit the lane today. So that gave us some good data about um, what happens with vehicles behind us as we're doing that. Turning in and out of lanes, how that interaction plays out. I'm of the opinion that all data is good data as long as we're being safe. So we have a right on a stop sign here we can meet. It's a little hard to see the cars that are coming, so you have to kind of creep up a little bit. There's nothing there. All right, so that's definitely the harder section of our route that we were able to get through there. Nice wide left turn here. I like these wide left turns where we're having to follow those dotted double yellow lines. We're still perfecting those. Just an unusual lane situation here where the lane that had been continuing straight turns into this turning lane here so now we just need to get over to the left to continue straight beta handled that just fine really is a speed zone over here. We should be careful going five over here. Cop likes to sit right there sometimes. I'm just going to give a manual disengagement so that I can bring us this way and avoid that whole little traffic jam right there. And now just engage FSD beta again. right on red here there's gonna be a lot of traffic so we have to be careful this model 3 is turning left now we 
working though. Very nice. That worked out. Alright, so we're gonna slow. Whenever there's a line of stopped vehicles like this, you want to slow down preemptively and not speed by them. You never know when someone's going to try to make a lane change or if there's going to be some pedestrians that poke out of nowhere. So we can get into the left lane here. Ultimately, we'll be making a left up ahead. so I can put us on a, um, a quicker route here. There's a lot of traffic on that road up ahead. People always get stuck at an intersection. just a series of stop signs here. There's some good decision making there to proceed but still leave enough room for that truck to go. That was good. For a split second there, Beta was thinking about going around this car, but then just decided to wait for him, which I like. You don't want to be fully onto the oncoming uh, lane of traffic if you can just wait a moment. This person is being a little too patient because there's two lanes up ahead. So if we wanted to, we could just go with those cars. And now you're just not gonna go? Wow, that was very, very unfortunate. Someone wanted to be a little too patient.
there's two cars ahead of us just They were just in their own world, not paying attention to anyone around them, deciding to go 15 miles an hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. And then she was just sitting there. She had a green arrow to make a right. And the person behind her had enough. to get into this parking lot here. I was fiddling with the destination so that I could try to get FSD Beta to turn into this parking lot for us. Very good, so we're waiting for this car, these cars. Good, now we need to make our left, very good. And then make an immediate right. Very good, now there's a stop sign here. We're going to go ahead and manually disengage and, f and pull us fully into um, the parking lot. So that was an, that was an interesting drive. Um, some good, good data we got there. You could see how the inner city of New Rochelle is a lot harder to get through than the routes that I'm normally having us take. Um, we had some issues with the parked vehicles in the lane and us turning away from them um, rather than offsetting in the lane which is actually like that's what I do I'll just take the lane that's fully clear whatever works I do hope everyone enjoyed the video if you did please hit the thumbs up and show me that you liked it um, if you have any comments any feedback put them in the um, comment section let me know I'll respond to them and if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to the channel. It's a growing channel, and I'm hoping to make this a permanent thing. And if we reach enough subscribers, then I'll be able to. Um, have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Friday.